with the uh, the type of work that I do. You know, I do try to uh, create lines of work uh, in which I can create a similar style with the pieces, and uh, I try to uh, make them cohesive. So for uh, this particular series, I call them the Silhouette Series because I try to integrate positive and negative space within the actual design, so they create this unusual silhouette. I actually started doing these right before Indian Market, and I was basing them a lot on some of my uh, necklace designs and I would look at you know, different shapes of uh, interconnecting links on the necklaces that I was doing and see how I could integrate that to a, uh, uh, a shape on the earring. But the earrings themselves, you know, they're, they're not overly complicated in terms of construction. What I did was come up with a general idea for the shape and where I wanted to create that open negative space and uh, how I was going to integrate the texture. And uh, the texture part is actually, is, you know, of course, my signature style in a lot of these designs. And they catch the light wonderfully, and they just add a really nice graphic style to the highly polished lines that you see in the pieces. The other thing that they do, the open air spaces, is that it allows for the earrings to, you know, being that they are on a larger scale, uh, to not be as heavy. Um, so, you know, it balances out the weight, especially for a uh, French ear hook, because you don't want to worry too much about the uh, earring pulling too much or having the chance to fall out. So, um, you know, you try to have to think of all aspects of design to make sure that everything balances out, you know, as far as comfort, as far as uh, wearability, and um, all of that kind of goes into mind. And um, with certain designs, there was a particular kind of triangular uh, shape earring it had uh, sharp angles on it and as i was texturing it the entire metal piece started to curve and so instead of uh, having straight angles it just kind of had this graceful curve on the back on the front where i was making the texture and so you know you kind of have happy accidents happen like that sometime where your original intended design becomes altered because of the fabrication process but for the most part uh, a lot of these earrings came out exactly as i um, had sketched them and that's really where all of my designs start you know, I have piles and piles upon uh, sketchbooks and, uh, you know, just really just trying to play with shapes and um, how I want the earrings themselves to fall upon the, the side of the face and how they'll look as they're moving. You know, these are all just different things that I, I try to keep in mind when I'm making any type of earrings. But for these in particular, you know, again, keeping them fun, keeping them vibrant, keeping them, uh, you know, just something that'll be really, really eye-catching. And I was really happy with this series and how they turned out. And uh, you'll see, you know, within the range of pieces that are available, uh, I made some, you know, kind of on the, uh, the smaller uh, side. So, you know, to scale, you know, there's uh, some smaller ones and, you know, up to kind of the more the grander, you know, larger, more impactful sizes.